Hi, I'm Luca, and welcome to this episode of Do It Right, Dynamic Hydronic Balancing. Today, I'd like to focus on dynamic hydronic balancing for air ending units. And air ending units, also known as AHU, is a relatively complex device with the purpose to treat the air before it enters the building. There are a number of air treatment options like filtering, heating, cooling, or humidity control. And in almost every air treatment phase, hydronic cooling or heating coils are required. So basically, an AHU is a very important point of interaction between the water-based energy distribution system and the air-based one. In this unit, the energy coming from the heating or cooling generators is ultimately transferred through thermodynamic principles into the air that will create the comfort for the people in the building. In this episode, we are not looking for discussing all possible variants of AHUs, but we will consider a simple AHU for more clarity and by the focus on the hydronic aspects of it. If you look at the inlet section, you can spot the heating and cooling coils between the air filter and the fan. As mentioned before, the two coils are fundamental for making sure the air is properly treated. And it is important that the hydronic system always delivers required heating and cooling capacity. Therefore, dynamic hydronic balancing becomes very important again. So, for AHU applications, there are two dynamic balancing solutions I would like to recommend. The first one is to use standard PSEV with electromotoric actuator and make sure that the air temperature control is fine-tuned. With the standard mechanical PSEV, you can guarantee that the flow circulating through the heating and cooling coils is exactly what the AHU requires to heat up or cool down the air or to reduce humidity. Obviously, with a mechanical PSEV, there's no information about how much flow is actually passing to the coil, and you can only check the effect of the heat transfer by monitoring the air temperature, which is totally fine. The second option is to enhance the air temperature control and add true water flow rate and temperature control as well by using the intelligent valve from Siemens. With an intelligent valve, it is possible to combine the advantages of a PSEV and an ultrasonic flow sensor and to determine the amount of energy for the heat exchanger by means of additional sensors for supply and return temperature. In other words, you are now able to rate the efficiency of the heat transfer and to control the delta T of the hydronic system. At the same time, with intelligent valve, you also have a self-optimizing dynamic valve with cloud connection. So the valve is able to learn if the settings given by the operator are correct or can be further improved. However, today there are also many old or small systems which still use standard two-port or three-port control valves. The systems will overflow and are not optimized for heating or cooling efficiency. And if, for whatever reason, it is decided not to benefit from dynamic hydronic balancing, it is recommended to improve the system by adding additional sensors, balancing valves, or rebalancing it. Combined with the building automation system, all of these will help compensate for or improve hydronic inefficiencies. These additional efforts will enable better detection of deviations from the expected performance. These changes will help, but cannot contribute to the advanced levels of energy efficiencies that the dynamic hydronic balancing options described before can provide. And if you have any doubts or questions, you can get in touch with our experts, which are located all around the world and they would be happy to assist you in your next project. In the next episode, I'm going to focus on remote control applications for dynamic balancing. Thank you for watching. Do it right. Dynamic hydronic balancing. Thank you.